Hi everyone, my name is Marina and welcome to my channel. So today's video is so exciting because it is going to be my itinerary for when I go to Orlando, Florida next month. So we're very, very nearly going. So all my meals are booked, my fast passes are booked, everything is booked. So I just wanted to share with you my day-to-day -day plans of what are we doing. I love these videos because I think it's so interesting to see what people do and also it might help you if you are planning your holiday. So I am going for two weeks with my fiance Dan and we're going to be vlogging the whole trip which is so excited so make sure you're subscribed to see those vlogs. Um, so I think I'm literally just going to jump into it. Um, so we are flying on a Saturday and we are actually going to stay at an airport, at, uh, not at, at an airport, in a hotel um, near Gatwick Airport the night before because we find it a lot easier just to go the night before. Then you haven't got to worry that you're stuck in traffic or anything. So our flight is at 11.15am and we are flying with British Airways. So I've never flown with them to Orlando before. I've flown with them to New York when I was like 18. <laughs> so uh, nearly 10 years ago. So I bet a lot's changed so I really have no idea how the flights are going to be. But I will report back to you after the trip. So we should arrive at Florida at 3.35pm. By the way, sorry if I'm looking down like everything's on my phone because I cannot memorise two weeks of plans. So you know how Florida immigration is. So who knows what time we'll get back to the hotel. But we've hired a car through Orlando. I think it's Orlando Discount Car Hire. Um, I'll leave the name here just to be 100% sure. So we're going to pick up our car and then we're actually staying at Colorado Springs in Walt Disney World for the full two weeks and I'm so excited because this is the first Disney hotel we've ever stayed in so I'm so excited. So for dinner that evening we're either going to go to a place called Buffalo Wild Wings and we actually went there in Vegas and it was really really nice. We normally go to I think it's Longhorn Steakhouse the first night but there's so many places that we want to go and we're not going to be able to fit everything in so I think we're just going to go for a Buffalo Wild Wings that first night just because we're not always that hungry and it's always so tiring. And then we do want to go to Epcot as well because basically, this is so weird, but we're annual pass holders, but the annual pass is only valid for the first week that we're there. So we have purchased a 14 day ticket on top of an annual pass because originally when we were booking, my work said that I couldn't go um, at a certain time. And it doesn't even matter because I'm going to be in a new job. But anyway, um, so yeah basically if you're an annual pass holder at epcot because it's food and wine festival you can get a magnet if you visit for the first time and then if you visit for four times you get like a special present so last year it was a cutting board i'll insert a picture of that here so we need to check into epcot four times within the first week so we can get whatever the present is i don't know what it is yet i don't even know if there is one but that is our plan anyway and then oh, i'm sure we'll be so tired so we'll be having an early night in terms of Florida. So the next day is a Sunday and normally we like to go to Magic Kingdom first because who doesn't? However, you know that Galaxy's Edge is opening um, in August so um, we're going to be jet lagged so the chances are we're going to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning so our plan is to go to Hollywood Studios that first day and to basically see Galaxy's Edge because the park opens at 6am for extra magic hours so if you're staying on site in any Disney hotel you can attend the extra magic hours so say if the park opens at 9 o'clock for normal guests but it opens at 6am for if you're staying on site that's 
three hours before anyone else so hopefully we can get there really early and do the ride with a minimal queues and we didn't get a chance to get a reservation for i don't know how to say it. i think it's ogre's or olga <laughs> ogre's canteen which is such a shame but i don't know we might be able to get let in but probably not but yeah so our plan is to do that obviously this might change you know what florida's like so this is just a rough guide and maybe like i said it will help you plan yours um and then um we have got fast passes for the voyage of the little mermaid at 12 30 star tours and slinky dog dash i'm not going to tell you all the times it doesn't really matter but yeah i'm so excited to have a fast pass for slinky dog dash because last year we didn't stay on site so we only got to pick up 30 days and all of the good rides had no fast passes left and we waited ages not ages but a good 40 minutes and that thinking dog dash line queue is outside so it's extremely hot so i'm really pleased that we got that and then that evening we are hoping to go for dinner at texas roadhouse um and then you have got the equa illuminations at 9 p.m I'm not sure if we'll make that to be honest because if we're going to be up ridiculously early we'll probably be really tired so we might see Epcot Illuminations, we might not. Then the next day is a Monday and we are going to Magic Kingdom. So we have got a lunch reservation for 10.45am so it's kind of like a late breakfast so we'll probably just use a snack credit and get like a rice crispy treat when we get there or something and um, we have got fast passes for big thunder mountain seven dwarves mine train and buzz i'll let your space ranger spin so that is so exciting i've never got a fast pass for seven dwarves before i've done it once before oh at mix not so scary so it'll be really cool to do it like in the daytime In a mine, in a mine, where a million diamonds shine. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Hi -ho. the difference and then we have got happily ever after at 9 p.m and i'm going to make sure that we stay there so we'll probably get a quick service meal in the park so we are on the quick service dining plan as well just to mention so the next day is a tuesday and we are planning to go to epcot this day so epcot opens at 9 a.m and we have a fast pass for Frozen, Living with the Land, and we've only actually booked two. So the Frozen's at 10 and Living with the Land at half past 12. So I'm so happy we got Frozen. So this is not going to be a full day in Epcot, we're just going to do half a day because it's Mickey's so, so scary. And I'm so glad that our make is not so scary is at the start of the week because I have an outfit and it's a little bit tight. So if it's towards the end, there's no way that will be fitting me. But anyway, <laughs> so make is not so scary. You can get there. Well, if you've got an all day ticket, you can get there, but you can actually get there from four. So we, we want to get there kind of as early as possible to make the most of everything because there's so much to see and do in that one day. And then the next day is a Wednesday and we are going back to Hollywood Studios this day. So we have got a fast pass for Star Tours at 10.45 and then we've got Hollywood and Vine booked. So this is a character meal. We do have to pay for this but hopefully we'll get our annual pass discount on top. 
but you get to meet all like Mickey, Minnie and friends in their Halloween outfits and I really really wanted to do that last time because I haven't even met Mickey Minnie and I've been three times but yeah I thought I just thought I really wanted to do that and it's like a buffet thing so we'll be stocked up on food also with Hollywood Studios now there is a tier system when you're booking the fast passes so all the main big rides count as tier one so say if you book Slinky Dog Dash you can't book for like Rock and Roller Coaster Alien Swirling Saucers, Tower of Terror, etc. So you can only really book for the shows. So it's a bit annoying if you do, if it's busy and you want to ride all the rides at Hollywood Studios. You might have to do it in more than one day, unless you want to queue lots. You it just depends what the queues are like. Um, and then we've got Fast Pass for the Beauty and the Beast show at three thirty. And then Fantasmic is at eight pm. Why have I only booked two? Oh yeah, I only booked two Fast Passes because you don't really need to for anything else like the rest are just shows so yeah the manner um oh wait no that there, there is one it's just on the different page so i've got rock and roller coaster how is that possible okay looks like i've got rock and roller coaster for 11.55 that ride scares me so much so that's just before our lunch <laughs> better be before not after <laughs> um, then on the Thursday for breakfast we are going to go to IHOP so for the other days I think we're just going to get a quick service meal from somewhere because we are on the dining plan so we don't need to be going out for food we want to stay save money but there are some places in Orlando which we have to go to because we've been dreaming of this food like forever so we're planning to go to IHOP and then we'll be back at Epcot and we've got a fast pass for soaring at 10am and then it is food and wine festival as well so there'll be loads of food options when we're there we've also got a fast pass for spaceship earth at 450 and then mission space at 555 and illuminations is on at 9 p.m so we'll probably stick around for illuminations that night let me know what you think of illuminations like they are getting rid of it but we've never seen it before so let me know if it's worth watching then on the Friday we are actually going to Islands of Adventure um, in which is a Universal Park. We haven't bought our tickets yet, we need to do that quite soon because obviously we're going soon. So obviously you know, um, probably know that Hagrid's Magical Adventure Ride has opened and I'm so excited but the queue ride times are actually mental so i really hope that they go down because i can't wait for more than two hours for a ride but hopefully hopefully it goes down so yeah we're gonna go to islands of adventure that day and then in the evening we have got halloween horror nights booked <sighs> so excited but i'm so scared like the killer clown's house i'm just gonna shut my eyes the whole way through because i can't cope so yeah, then the next day is a Saturday which is quite nice because we don't like to do parks on a Saturday because they're always so busy and Halloween Horror Nights finishes at like 1 or 2am so we're going to be really tired so we'll probably have a little bit of a lay in and then we are going, I say we'll have a lay in, uh, we've got to check into Epcot for the last time so I've booked a fast pass for Test Track between 10 and 11. 10 and 11 so that's still a little bit of a lay in and then we're going to be going to the cheesecake factory and doing some shopping so there is a few places that i want to go shopping so you've got the mall of millennia which is where the cheesecake factory is and then the florida mall they actually have a morphe store so i want to go there as well and obviously the um outlets have got the character warehouse so if you want cheap disney merch that's a place to go and then for dinner that evening we want to go to Texas Roadhouse which is a really nice restaurant. And then that's all we've really got for the evening. We can just chill and um, if we want to go to Disney Springs we can. But yeah, just chill really. Then the next day is a Sunday. So on the Sunday we have planned to go to Animal Kingdom. And we've got fast paths for Everest. Flight of Passage and Safari. 
it's I don't know why I sang that but I'm really excited because we waited two hours for flight of passage last time and it was so long so I'm so glad we've got our fast pass because it's a really really good ride and then the next day is a Monday so this is will be our full week and a day there now and we have we are gonna go to Perkins for breakfast it's an amazing place for breakfast and I really really recommend it and then we are going to spend the day at Universal that day so exciting so exciting so exciting um, and then the next day is a Tuesday so we are going to be at Typhoon Lagoon in the morning I really like Typhoon Lagoon out of the two actually out of all the, the water parks I hated Volcano Bay that is a whole other video if you want to know the tea let me know down below and I'll do another video but I'm never going back there Blizzard Beach was okay we went on like quite a windy day so I didn't really want to do anything I just did the Lazy River and like one ride and it was okay but Typhoon Lagoon is my favourite water park so we go in there and then we've got the boathouse booked at 3.15pm so this is a restaurant in Disney Springs who they do really good food the bread there is really the main reason why I want to go like just give me all the bread <laughs> so good and then we'll be going to Hollywood Studios in the evening so we've got a fast pass for Slinky Dog Dash and Frozen Sing Along and then I've got down Outback Steakhouse for dinner but because we're going because they're going to the boathouse quite late we might not even be hungry so maybe we'll go and we'll share something or we'll just not go and get snack credit we'll see um then where am i where am i then the next day we are back at magic kingdom and we've got a fast pass for why have i only got one fast pass but no i haven't it's on another page keep saying this to me <laughs> so we've got fast pass for to meet mickey and minnie and um, big thunder mountain and haunted mansion and then happily ever after is on at nine and there is extra magic hours in the evening to 11 if we do want to stay later but we'll probably be tired so, yeah um then where are we oh my gosh it's just going so quick then on the Thursday, we are going back to Animal Kingdom. I feel like you have to do Animal Kingdom in two days if you want to do the zoo bits as well. And we've missed out on that, but they got baby gorillas, so we have to do it this time. So we've got a fast pass for Flight of Passage, Expedition Everest, and Dinosaur. So we've never done Dinosaur before. We completely skip over that section, and I don't know why. So this year, we're doing it. And then that evening we are going for dinner at um, Kobe Japanese Steakhouse. We went last year. I'll have the video linked up here and down below. It's like a teppanyaki restaurant. They cook it all in front of you. And normally on Thursdays we got told they do offers. So we actually got it two for one. Which is why we wanted to go on the Thursday. But it's actually amazing food. Like really, really lovely food. So I really recommend that if you've got a spare evening and you can go. And you like Japanese food, I think it's awesome. Okay, then we have got Friday. And in the morning, we're going to be going to Cracker Barrel, another amazing restaurant. This is like typical American food. They do pancakes, waffles, grits, biscuits and gravy. Like, it's just amazing, amazing food. And they're really, really nice in there. And they have a little gift shop. And it's the cutest gift shop I've ever seen. It's got, like, Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff. And, like, it's just such an amazing place. So, yeah, we're definitely going there. And then we'll be going back to either Universal or Islands of Adventure that day. We'll have to see kind of how we got on in the week previous. Like, maybe we could do Hagrid's again, depending on the wait time. Or we could do it if we didn't do it before and then that evening again we've got a halloween horror night so um yeah we booked it twice because 
the first time we get an express pass and we try and smash out all the houses and you can do every house with an express pass and then the second time we like to be in the park for when it kind of opens so you can go to your first house before they let the general public in so yeah we're gonna have to see what our favorites are and then go from there but yeah we've got that that night and then it's our last day this is not fair so then we have got magic kingdom because i love to do magic kingdom on the last day because even though it's a saturday and we did this before not last year the year before because the last year we flew home on a wednesday so it was fine but also, yeah we went on a saturday once and it was literally horrendous like you couldn't move the queues were insane and i actually hated it so i don't know why on earth we are going on a saturday but anyway i've got fast passes booked for big thunder mountain haunted mansion and seven dwarves and then our flight back is at 7 55 pm so we have to be at the airport for half past four so we've got to leave orlando area about 3 30 yes about 2 30 3 30 so yes that is our 14 day disney world orlando itinerary i'm literally so excited so excited so anyway let me know what you think of my plan blah 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 um if you're going in september if you're going out all i hope you have the most amazing time and i hope this video has helped you in some way or another and if you want any tips or anything then just leave me a comment and i'll reply and don't forget to subscribe because like i said we're going to be vlogging the whole trip so yeah anyway thank you for watching and i'll see ya in Florida. Bye!